Hey gang, Dmart95 here of Martin Mopeds LLC, and we're continuing on with the video of my buddy's RCQ 180cc, or actually this is a 190cc with the stroker, and uh, what we've done so far is uh, we've installed all the We've installed all the seals, installed nice high quality Viton seals, got TPI bearings, got the engine, the block completely prepped. These are the high quality blue Viton seals. They're the best you can buy for these style of engines. So what we're going to do from this point is we got to get the crankshaft mounted. Now, is what you do, you're going to get your crankcase dowel pins. You insert them in there. These are used for alignment in your gasket. This is just for illustration purposes. Okay. Now take note right here. The red areas you have to trim off and remove. So that's what I wanted to show you. Tata supplies a really, really nice gasket kit. Uh, it's top of the line gasket material, so you don't have to worry about buying your gaskets. It comes with your kit. Okay, now I've got the gasket installed. Now take note of the copper color. That's obviously not the color. This is the stock color. This is what the Tata looks like. It's a rubber type material I don't actually know what material it is but this right here fills all the little porous spots and it makes the gasket tacky that's really really nice and it holds it in place as you can see everything's lined up really well and it should be pointed out that before you uh put your gasket down make sure you clean all the surfaces with a, a brake cleaner or something like that to remove any of the manufacturing residue that's left on there uh, to get it off okay so now from this point is what you got to do is you're gonna uh, you're gonna make the uh, crankshaft cold and you got to make your block hot now I normally like to heat the block up to around 150 200 degrees and I heat up this area right here. There's many different ways of doing it. I'm out of butane, so I'll be using a heat gun for like a shrink wrap or whatever. And I've got the crankshaft in the freezer, and I've had it in there for a while. So, that's what we're going to do right now is heat up the block. So, all I'm going to do is use this heat gun, and I'm going to warm, because this is, is aluminum, it will conduct so I'm not going to keep this in one spot I'm going to move it around I'm going to heat up the whole block and kind of concentrate here you do it for about I don't know till it's warm and uh, we'll proceed from there but I'm not going to sit there and make you watch this and listen to all the noise I'll be right back as soon as this is heated up all right gang I kind of got ahead of myself here um what I forgot to add is you don't have to do it this way, but I like to do it. I like to go ahead and put the studs in here and the chain in here. Uh, well, I put the studs in here so that I can rest the chain on. I'll show you what I'm talking about in just one second. All right, so here's what I was talking about. You put the studs in here because that's where you can uh, rest the chain. Elsewise, the force or the weight of the chain is going to keep pulling itself right out of there. Now, when you... Uh, drop the crank in you're gonna want to make sure your chain is completely up against the block in inside the race as Far as you can get it because you want it to clear the sprocket on your uh, crank So now I'm I got to get back to heating the block and I'll drop that crank All right gang, so here we are. This is the Tata plus three cranks uh, stroker crank this is awesome right here. This is going to make this a total torque monster. I had it in the freezer for a little while. So, when you put them in there, you always want to lube it up with lots of grease. Assembly grease or oil. 
to make sure it doesn't rust. You don't want it to allow the condensation to build up on it. So, now that it's hot and this is cold, let's see what we got. Oh, hang on. Oh, you want to make sure you have it going the right way. Oh, sets right in there. Nice, huh? All right, uh, other side. Now this, we may not even have to heat. Well, I better heat it. And beautiful. See, so set right down on there. So let's get some bolts in it and torque her on down. Um, just one second. All right. Now here's something I like to do throughout the process from this point on. Everything that I do, I test it. I go through, make sure nothing's binding, and make sure everything's turning like it should. Oh, and I forgot to point out, this is not your standard size chain. That's a 92 link chain, and these studs are longer than stock as well. They're 195 and 203. I took a measurement, and they're 205, and I haven't measured the other one, but I got 205 millimeters, but it's a... Uh, stupid tape measure that like the kind you put around your waist so i don't know how accurate it is tata states them as 203 so if you're going to order a set it's uh actually it comes with the engine kit so you don't even have to worry about it but if you're building them separately 195 203 all right gang so that's going to conclude this uh this is part two of this video series of RCQ's 18 or 190 cc Tata build oil port. This thing's going to have a bunch of modifications. But anyways, I'm going to move on to the next video because we got a specialty oil pump that I have to talk a little bit about and I don't want to take up too much time. So we got the crankcase has together, strokers in there, chains installed. Everything's going good at this point. Bushings, bearings. Uh, seals everything's going great so if you want to talk about any of this you can hit me up on my forum at www.dancegaragetalk.com or if you want to buy any of this hit up my store shop.martinmopeds.com god i can't talk that's shop.martinmopeds.com and no i don't ever edit these things you know just take them as they are because they are what they are. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you learned what you were trying to learn by watching this video in the first place. And I hope to see you at the forum. DMart95 and I am out.